and really has impacted my life with the information it has really been eye-opening with the information that he has shared with me over the last few months so um in conversation this morning we were talking about his dad and the impact his dad has had on his life and because we're honoring men you know i thought it's really necessary to share on that impact his father would have had and he's going to tell us who his father was <laughs> coming back and who his grandfather was <laughs> i think all that you know is well, important and impact his life but well, madonna before i get into that um i like you to um at least know let your audience know that the gentlemen in this room um, all three of us are from the real estate industry. Right. Um, we are some of the top sellers of real estate in the country. Um, we're part of the Remax Real Estate Group. Um, and you're getting a different kind of perspective. People who are training to be real estate investors, you know, people who are successful, they belong to, uh, they, they work with uh, an American real estate franchise that sells real estate in 110 countries. You know, Eden, for example, is seven-time national champion in karate. You know, Marvin Edwards here, Almost became president of the pantry and at one point in time. Just Steve Pine is an artist, work off yeah. show and now works for Green Max, you know. A different kind of guy you have up here. And then I run a cash flow club. Right. Which deals with deals with financial issues. And you know, some couples don't make it, just saying. Mm -hmm. And if you want to talk about that, we can talk about that as well. I like the, the cash flow part. I think um, they want to hear about how to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want right. to learn how to make money? Yeah, and um and taking persons out of poverty as well, you know, because they aren't schooled. You know, and it's something you had mentioned as well. If it would only get into the schools, then we wouldn't just study to pass an exam. The school and... telling everybody, GOB, you should tell people, GOB stands for best of a broke. Oh, and I always get in trouble for saying that, but that's the reality of the situation. They're not taught about money in school, yeah. and they're taught to get a job, mm -hmm. and they get a job, and eventually they get downsized, or they live paycheck to paycheck, and they don't understand, I have a degree, I have a master's, I'm smart, why am I living paycheck to paycheck? Right. And if you read Richard Poor Daddy, you'll see why. Yes, that's the phenomenal book. I mean, I've read it and read it and reading it again because you miss things the first time and then you realize the impact that it has on your life. And what he said there is so important, especially persons now leaving school as well and that kind of thing. So how how was it? Okay, so now we go back to, let's go to Granda, come up quickly to that and then go into <laughs> doing the business, starting the business, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay, so my granddad, so I, I, I always start off with saying I'm not a self-made person, right? right? Um, I don't think it's the right thing to say because I don't think anybody is self-made. I think we, all, we always get help from a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, if we're anywhere close to success, it's because of the sacrifice of many, many people along the way, mm -hmm. you know? So um, my granddad was in my family and uh, one of the few that was a business owner. He was into real estate, he had real estate, real estate investments all over the country and that kind of thing. And he also co-founded Tech U Credit Union, you know. Um, so I learned a lot from my granddad. Um, he sent uh, his son and his daughters to the best schools they could possibly get. They got educated and they all got really good jobs and everything. Um, but um, in terms of another family member going into business, I think I was, I think people started realizing I was heading in that direction. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really want to earn a salary. I want to make plenty of money, right? So it's got to be business or something of that effect, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of obvious I was going to business. But my influence, my dad also had a major influence in my life. I mean, my dad built Phoenix Park gas processors. You know, he's a mechanical engineer and a genius in point recess. Mm -hmm. If you want to research him, he's Roger Moore Senior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So um, I learned a lot from my granddad and my dad and other men out there, including people from books, like, um, John D. Rockefeller, um, or, or um, the guy who did Walmart, Sam Walton. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from Sam Walton, from his information, how he went about things, how he dealt with relationships, how he treated his business like a family business. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from that. Even Ted Turner, who started CNN, you know, same sort of concept, same sort of mentality. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at that and I always, all throughout my business life, I always talked to um, successful business people mm -hmm. and always said the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The person, your next, your, 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 your um, significant other mm -hmm. would make you or break you. That's true. That's fact right there. That's fact so right there. you have to be very careful. In your choices. You mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's critical. And when I was first told that in 2009, after a business incident I had, 
for the business owner realized I was a nice person. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, he wasn't that mean to me. He gave me advice. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time I had a, I was going through a bad relationship with my girlfriend. And he said, you know, you need a girlfriend, or or, or somebody, you know, who you're with, to have a strong work ethic. If mm -hmm. you're in business, it's about work, mm -hmm. and you need somebody who's there hundred percent. Who could work with you if you have to work seven days a week they're not going to complain mm. they're going to support you and that is a important thing in business at the time i was working really hard it's 2009 i was 28 at the time i just started a bicycle career company i was running cash flow club i was blowing up really fast but nothing the money wasn't coming up with the blowing up i was just getting popular you know mm -hmm. but at the time the girlfriend i had at the time was she was um Toxic. arguing a lot. She was um, upset how much hours I was working. She was accusing me of um, cheating and going to places I have not going when I was just working. Um, she was doing a lot of things that was distracting me from actually building the business. And after that relationship ended, I never made that mistake again. Hmm. Wow. And and that's critical, you know, as Roger was saying there, in choosing accurately. And um and I want to come back to you, but I just want to jump across to Marvin briefly. Mm -hmm. Um, Marvin, I, I met Marvin recently, but it's just because he, I think the impact with art, I like art. And I remember AP2 said, took me to this artist who recently passed and took me to his house and all that kind of thing. So the minute he started with art, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so fascinated. And uh, to know the kind of quality work that he does right here in Trinidad and Tobago, I'm like, wow, you should be making millions just by your art alone. <laughs> you know? Yes. So this is Marvin Edwards, Marvin. So Marvin is a father, so you can share with us, you know, having that relationship with your children. Um, sadly, you know, he lost his daughter just just over a year. No, five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah, five okay, years five ago. years ago. So, you know, how, how that would be as a parent and his father's day, yeah. So mm -hmm. coming up soon. But thank God for his strength. So how has it been for you as a dad now as well in business and, and, and um, what advice you'd give to your children or to young people out there? Okay, good question. All right, um, so first things first, um, I want to say good afternoon and thank you for having me. All right, um, so I'll be honest with you, um, I wasn't the perfect dad, mm. right? I, I had to learn along the way. I became a dad firstly when I was 26 years old. Mm -hmm. um, um, basically, I had to learn on the run how to become more mature, mm -hmm. how to become more understanding, and eventually, as my kids got older, I was able to learn the ropes with regards to creating that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. No, let's be honest. And I'm sure a lot of men can attest to that. Yes, let's mm -hmm. be honest. I mean, mm -hmm. we still make mistakes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, sadly, my daughter didn't get the chance to really build that relationship with me as an adult because mm -hmm. she was 20 years old when she passed away mm -hmm. in 2017. My son and I are very close. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that there, there isn't conflict in between. Mm -hmm. Life. Life. Mm -hmm. However, we are very, very close. We communicate. He's mm -hmm. actually uh, interested in getting into real estate. Yeah, he's, as he's, well. he's looking at becoming a Remax. Yes. I'm looking forward to training him in sales. Mm -hmm. I think he has a lot of potential. Yes. Yeah. Right. So he did attend this sales training in the past. Yeah. So he used to do a refresher and so on. Right. But w the advice I would give to young people is... Gain your experience in life as well as looking into business because what happens is that we, we tend to get lost mm -hmm. because we want to make money. Mm -hmm. As a young person, 18, mm -hmm. 19, 20, we want to make money. And we get lost in the matrix, mm -hmm. right? And then all of a sudden, we get accustomed to that comfort zone of that, that monthly salary, mm -hmm. right? But that comfort zone is really a, a, an enemy of progress, mm -hmm. an enemy of growth, mm -hmm. right? So even though you're get, gaining that experience in the corporate world, still be mindful to start a business on the side and use personal development to help you grow <laughs> mentally mm -hmm. and financially so that you can raise your financial IQ mm -hmm. so that you can develop your business in the field. Because at the end of the day, young people like Keelan here mm -hmm. have a, a, a great advantage over me, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because he's, 20, he's 30 years younger than I am, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, 30 good. years younger than I am. So... He has time on his hands. Mm -hmm. And that is what this business is really about mm -hmm. creating time for yourself. You know? mm -hmm. Because we want to be able to make money, yes. But it's ready to become more comfortable. I, more I, I, I was still saying, mm -hmm. uh, there's all give and take. Because yes. I would tell younger guys, be a paper chaser. 
Yeah. Don't, don't chase after women. Wow, that's powerful. We don't right do there. that. Don't yeah. chase after women. <laughs> we chase after opportunities, business, sales, oppo- you know, paper chaser. And some people say that's a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing, man. Come on. Going after deals is a good thing. <laughs> I just don't run after women. I just don't do it. It mm-hmm. just don't make no sense. Right. And I, I remember this, this one this one rich girl wanted, what, we went out on a date, right? And she was trying to convince me that a $20,000 US diamond engagement ring was a good investment. I said, no. Check, please. <laughs> I'd rather buy real estate. I'd rather invest in a franchise. I'd rather buy business. You know, I, I would never do something that silly. And that's kind of, I'm glad we're having this conversation. I just want to clarify that. It's different levels, you know? Some paper chasers is like the next level. <laughs> wow, that's exorbitant. That's not um, just a ring, you know what I mean? So, Keegan. 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 So many Ks yeah, in there. Right? So, how has it been for you mm-hmm. as a young man getting through real estate and you're also a champion of, of you know, tell us all about of karate, that. Of karate, yes, yes. Right? So, the question is, how has it been balancing real estate yes. and karate? Yes. Okay, so it's been, it's been, so for a while I've been into business actually. Yeah, uh, I was actually into business from about 14 or 15 years old. Uh, Roger was actually one of my inspirations in that, in that he had a talk at my high school, which was Trinity College East. Wow. And that was when I was making a transition into the, the world of work uh, and stuff like that. I'm sure wow. he didn't even know that. Wow. Right? Yeah, I didn't know that. You know that? Well. <laughs> 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 what these things do? Wow. That J-O-B, J-O-B, just over I got into trouble time. for that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's one of the reasons why I remember I, them. I get into trouble everywhere. Yeah, and I was always a hustler in terms of school and everything. I would do what I can in order to, to make those extra ends meet because I grew up with a single parent, right. with my, which was my mom. And I, when I needed to get those nice clothes to go to a party and everything, yeah. I just tell him like, no, no, no. You know, priorities. So, yeah. you know, so you had to find different means legally in right. order to get those means, right? <laughs> legally. Yeah. And legally. Yeah. 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 So I was always into business. I did uh, junior achievers. I don't know yeah, if junior you... achievement. Do you know Ooh. the person in charge of yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> junior achievements works at Isaac? <clears throat> really? Yes. Uncle, brother, Era Lewis. <clears throat> okay, I yes? did not know that. Right? Yeah, but I actually did junior <laughs> achiever. Saying. And I had a, a bit of a knack, which I thought was for marketing, but it was really sales, mm-hmm. which is more interaction and having an interpersonal relationship with people, right. which is only something I learned years later um, from going through trials and tribulations and, th- and things like that. Um, but my main source was into karate, right? right? But karate is not very popular in terms of the business aspect of it. Right. Well, the business good. aspect is popular, but not... Um, becoming like a professional athlete mm-hmm. yeah well the business aspect is where you want to get into yeah. right but i didn't know that, that time, it's only when becoming more open to business principles and learning from people like roger that you know he's saying but you should really get into business teach people don you know. jacobs making plenty money right <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> of course and then merging that with real estate which is really the game mm-hmm. right so from reading rich dad poor dad and understanding the skills i would need mm-hmm. um which is which was great because I read this at an early age, which I was like 21, which is not too long ago. And I have all these these years wow. to invest in it and just practice and build my skills in, in sales. And I'm really pretty good at it. I have a knack for it. So it's just to get he's an to actual, He's one of my top agents. Mm-hmm. If he's not the top agents, all right. Wow. He's one of my top ones, big time. I hope parents, you all are listening of these opportunities. And you know, what I like about it is to teaching your child, even though they may start off having a job, think of being a business owner. Think of it, and, and, and Roger, right back to you quickly with regards to that partnership, the importance of that partnership in business for its success. So you can share with us because I see time running, boy. Time and yeah. waiting. So, so <laughs> I, I, run, I run Remax. Um, Remax is a large company and it's growing very fast. Um, we're, the, we're already the largest real estate brokerage by a long shot in the country. Mm-hmm. And I, I would say most people, think, most people think this is the largest we'll be. You know, they see the large building and they say, okay, that's the largest of But no, I think we are just like one tenth the size we eventually will be. Um, I, I am aiming for multiple offices in case you all are listening on the live radio, my competition out there. I am going to aim for multiple offices, all right? I'm not just going to stick to one. Um, San Fernando is our next move. So we're making some plans to um, start doing cash flow in San Fernando. So that's why we did the speech in the church in Vista Bella last week and yeah. that kind of thing. And create more jobs down there, create more opportunities, expand the real estate market, yeah. you know, raise some prices for them, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get some deals done and get some people paid and get some, 
you know, some investments done in, in mm-hmm. the South area and, um, you know. But anyway, I want to get back to Keenan because he's a natural in sales. Mm-hmm. I met I met him, I met him in True Cash for Club and that kind of thing. And True Cash for Club actually meets a lot of young people with that kind of talent and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and we always lose them in the school system mm-hmm. when they go off and do their degrees and their masters and stuff because, they, you know, if if they don't see outside the box or they don't read rich dad poor dad sometimes we lose them in the employment world because once you get locked in the rat race Mm -hmm. a lot of people just do not get out once you get that dependency on a salary you lose your skills to survive you don't know how to sell you don't have to negotiate deals right and this is what we teach at cash flow so somebody like you don't know red rich dad poor dad and all that stuff at at 22 years old Mm -hmm. Making big moves and and closing real estate deals, and he's getting accustomed to closing deals. Mm-hmm. So by the time he's 25, 26, 27, there's a different kind of, different level you're talking about there, you know. And this is something that could be duplicated if the school system would just allow something like cash flow to be placed in. Mm-hmm. That's our kind of that's all aim, man. We want to get into the school system by the end of the decade. Mm. And we have no, no other cash flow has ever been this popular before, and. Um, we actually think this might be the first country to do something like that. I think it's a good eye opener when it comes to coming out of the zone of uh, being an employee, but being an employer as an entrepreneur, and uh, even with Isaac as well as family owned, the importance of uh, coming together and having that team that has the same mindset to, to accomplish the goal, the vision that you would have for the business. and. Uh, we were also talking about, um, because on Yadas, you all know, we always talk the other kind of topics, but just a little snippet of, and he said it already, about choosing accurately who you would want as a life partner because you would eventually think of business and go in and say stagnating and do the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. And will this person want to grow with you? And in choosing, I, I know it's not... Uh, um, across the board but if you were to choose what are some of the things you would look for in in a lady when choosing for that kind of success i would i would simply describe my girlfriend right right Aww. so let me Aww. 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 <laughs> i get points there yeah. oh, it's there. a little worried okay it's a sensitive topic but see now i get some points okay you get very some, good you get, you get some I guess I'm right. So let me describe my girlfriend, right? I'm not gonna call her name on live on there, but anyway. Okay, so she's a full time math teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, she works part time at Remax. She she manages Remax part time, mm-hmm. right? Um, she runs a silent business called MathWiz. So she does math lessons and that kind of thing as well. Um, she has some shares in Remax. Uh, she's supposed to own more shares, uh, uh, but that's negotiable later on. Mm-hmm. Um, we all work really hard. Um, we we aim for high commissions. We don't earn salaries. None of, nobody in the company earns salaries. We all aim for high commissions. Um, we have built-in sales training systems and stuff, so all that is built in, so it's easy to accomplish, right? Um, so back to back to this person. So she's very humble, very intelligent. Um, that's what made her stand out from the start. Her intelligence. I met her in about ten years ago at Cashflow, and she was actually one of those students that didn't understand the concept. She was suffering from depression at the time and all that stuff. So I really had to. Um, um, I got to know her, trying to help her because I realized she's a nice person, but she suffered from major depression. It was affecting her health and all that stuff. And I, th- I felt as if I had the expertise to kind of help her because I was we, we went to personal development and realized through Cash Club that personal development had profound effects on people's mindsets and whatever issues they had. So I started using personal development on her and it was working. And as she healed and got better and stuff, um, eventually she became my girlfriend. And uh, I didn't expect the work ethic to be so good. She works really well. She's very smart. She's good at solving problems. I mean, you all deal with her on a regular basis. She's a genius. She almost won. She, and here does Madonna. She almost won Global Manager of the Year in 2020. Remax, mm-hmm. Global Manager of the Year in 2020. What the franchise doesn't know is that she was, she's still part-time. Oh. They don't know that. She's so good at what she, she almost won Global She didn't win it for the whole world, but she won it for the region in 2020. She won Caribbean and Central America. So that's to tell you the level of now all of us we all perform extra well because of the nature of the company and the nature of the mission of the company. Mm-hmm. But I think she goes she goes above and beyond. That's great, excellent. So ladies, you gotta go above and beyond. And up your game. Don't just want to sit at home and want to back for KFC. 
Let's keep in there for you. Yeah, I want lady. Let's cook. That's a good lady. Let <laughs> 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 me talk about it. He just like this. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I, I, I don't want, I don't eat Gabby's food. <laughs> I don't eat my girlfriend's food. We go to restaurants. Can you know. Gabby cook? She could cook. I, right. She could cook, but she, I don't, I just don't, okay. I don't have a cook in. We, okay. we have more things. We have, as I like to tell her, we have better things to do. We have deals to close. Okay. We have a, 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 a townhouse complex to close right now. We're working on that. We have a next, um, we just got some, a next, uh, Townhouse again. She got me like study about cooking. No, I know we, a lot of women will be saying. We want to make money. We want to make money. We want deals. Right. I know I'm so, a common world. Me and cooked food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shanaka, what do you do? Yes, she does. Oh, wow. Yes, she does. <laughs> so, I'm the only one who... So, wait, you have a girlfriend here? Yeah? Mm-hmm. You still single? Yeah. So she not. Do you know why you cook? So you're here? looking for somebody who can cook? Okay, good. Yeah, ladies. I, 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 I like said, her roti. You like her roti? Yeah. That support is important, though. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, I have the, I have that same thing as Shanaka. Mm-hmm. Um, she's Shinaka, not. Shinaka she's is not. Girlfriend. Yeah, she is. She's not totally involved in Remax yet. Right. Um, she, but she is very oh. supportive in regards to. We run a business together as well, outside of Remax, mm-hmm. uh, Remission Cleaning Services, right? And she's part and parcel of that. She's mm-hmm. the driving force. Mm-hmm. And she's the person who actually encouraged me to already get more involved in business mm-hmm. and personal development, mm-hmm. even though I was involved in it before we even had the conversation. Mm-hmm. And she trains really hard in the gym. She trains but really it's, hard it's in the good. gym as well. It's, so I don't train at all. I didn't say you don't train hard in the <laughs> every morning, well, almost every morning. Yeah, you train hard. You train hard this morning, right? But <laughs> but what he was saying something there that that I wanted to to grab a hold of is the connection and doing it together. Yes. You know how important it was, and himself as a man was open to be guided, even if with a little encouragement to you know do this and do that. That would help build yourself because mm-hmm. sometimes some persons are resistant to self-improvement and and you know building on yourself and that kind of thing so yeah. it has to have that that fluid yeah um connection where you're able to say okay yes uh, you know there's a good there's good advice i'll work with this instead of resent wanting to, you know some people get defensive when when yeah. you talk about yes. improving yourself i you find know? when couples work together and you enter personal development you stay together and mm-hmm. i've i personally witnessed running a cash club for 17 years training thousands of people the trend is when there's a family business, the family is stronger. Mm-hmm. You have no choice but to be stronger. Mm-hmm. I saw that dynamic with my girlfriend, for example, running in a big company like Remax, where we could be petty and we could argue over petty stuff, but we don't because we have yeah. so much responsibilities. Mm-hmm. We have over 30 families to take care of and make sure they could buy food, and we had to do that all through COVID. We had to solve problem after problem after problem. Mm-hmm. So that forced us to get closer together. Mm-hmm. It forced us to understand each other better. She knows what I don't like. She mm-hmm. she knows I don't like constant updates when I'm working. Mm-hmm. So she wouldn't do that often. She wouldn't once or twice. She said I got aggravated she stuff one time. And for the rest of the day, Uncle Dory. I know her stuff. She knows my stuff. We all work very seamless together. Wow. You know? Wow. And we solve multitudes of problems that other people would just fall apart over. Mm-hmm. And People see us like rock stars, but we're not rock stars. We just get along really well. And some things you're saying that are so critical, but we don't have the time for that with regards to even getting along and her understanding, okay, what's a pet peeve? And then, okay, move on to that. Oh, hold on. Because a lot of times when you talk about breakups, you'd realize it's because they were it's holding on stuff. to things. Yes. Yeah. That they kind of just let go and just mm-hmm. move to another level, you know? Stuff. Yeah. And when you have so, responsibility, things change. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> you need to be more. Mm-hmm. Don't make up. Don't make up for any decision. On a when you're upset, problem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that Key Van, Key Gun, Key Dan, now yeah. I talk to Key Van and oh lord, Key Gun. Don't, don't don't confuse us. <laughs> no, stick to me. Stick to me. Yeah, right, Key Dan. Yeah. All right. So Key Dan is learning a lot because he don't have to make any of the mistakes that the mature persons would have made. Yeah, you know, wise. he's getting such wise counsel. Yeah. yeah? So, in closing, we just have three more minutes. <laughs> so, definitely, you want to be on the others because the others is a lot more time. <laughs> <laughs> that um, you can leave with the persons and, and, and some things they have already taken, I believe, is with regards to having a good partnership when you want to have a successful business. Choosing accurately business when you want to have a... Right? Mm-hmm. So, you can give just... Yeah, two more minutes now. Go ahead. Closing remarks. Closing remarks. <laughs> business is a team sport. 
and um, people on your team take care of them and, and help them develop their leadership skills as well. That's the sign of a true leader. Nice. Don't run a business without reading. Mm -hmm. Personal development is everything. Mm -hmm. So we do help you to face the challenges and just read, read, read and lead your dick along. He done. He done. I got it correct. So. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, well, as I have the advantage of time, um, I'm actually doing some personal development on myself earlier this morning, reading a book called The Magic of Thinking Big. Mm -hmm. And for the, I guess for the guys, the younger guys or whether you're older, the author, David Schwartz, was putting something in perspective for an older guy. He was saying that he was kind of running out of time. He was trying to chase his dreams and stuff like that. So he was 45 years old. Mm -hmm. I think he wanted to get a, a PhD or something like that. But he was encouraging him to continue because of the fact that most people in well, men mm -hmm. retire at age 70 or mm -hmm. so. So he had like, let's say, 30 more, 40 more years mm -hmm. in order to put that time in. Mm -hmm. I'm in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Let me say, if you reason that same timeline, I have like 50, 60 more years, wow. right? I have a big advantage. <laughs> wow. At the same time, 40 years as compared to that older person is not a short period, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. go in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. So I guess that we should always use our time and maximize it and, and use it for constructive things, whether it's building a business, finding a good partner, or, you in know, enjoying activity. your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in companies and activity. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing with us. Um, just this little snippet. Definitely. We'll connect again on the back. Nice. Ladies, you never know it might be any others. You can see here all the information that they have to give. It's just a little bit that we were able to get trickles of it. But thank you again. It was really, really powerful. Have a good afternoon. Tiffany's up next. Uh, and we're going to promise sponsored in part by Arlene Mohammed Street and Naro. So I am now going to.